What's up guys? It's the one and only Stevie Durr, Steve Durvis. I'm gonna do a little daily vlog today. Um, just kind of go through what a Saturday in my life is. Um, show you what I eat, show some workout footage, and uh, see what happens. Uh, maybe something crazy will happen and I can get it. Uh, life's crazy. So um, basically I missed it. It's about 1.30, slept in. Did a little bit of drinking last night. Uh, got off late work too, so I slept in. Um, for breakfast, I had three whole eggs, a serving of Greek yogurt, vanilla Greek yogurt, with a scoop of Dimatize ISO 100, two scoops of BioGrow in that, and a banana. Um, so I got about 50 protein already, uh, like 60 carbs. 17 fat or something uh, for the day. I have 75 fat 330 carb and 170 protein uh, So we'll see what I can eat. We'll see if I hit my goals um, I got some special stuff that I can show and uh, We'll see how this goes um, Stick around and enjoy the ride so since this is technically my first video, I uh, figured I've got a lot of time on the way to the gym. It's like almost a 20 minute drive. Uh, <clears throat> I'd let you guys know who I am and what this page is basically going to be about. Uh, I'm 25 from Buffalo, New York. Uh, I currently live in Portales, New Mexico. Uh, you can tell that I'm not from here because I sound like I'm Canadian. I'm not full-blooded American. America. Uh, anyways, I'm here because I am stationed here. I'm in the U.S. Air Force. I've been in for about five years. Um, never really worked out before I was in the Air Force. Uh, I did a little bit for ski racing. I used to be really big in ski racing, but I would only do like leg press and leg extensions and some hamstring stuff and you know some core exercises, basically just ski racing uh, exercises. Uh, but I never, I never trained upper body. I the only thing I knew how to train uh, for my upper body was my biceps. So I had huge biceps, no shoulders, no chest, uh, no lats, no back of any kind, uh, and some big ass quads. Still have big ass quads, still have big ass biceps, still don't have any damn calves. I've been training for about close to four years now. Um, and uh, I've really been getting into it a lot lately. It's hard sometimes uh, with my job, and that's what this page is kind of going to be about. Uh, I kind of want to show you guys that you can balance going to the gym, life, your job, girlfriends, family, fun, other sports, and with uh, lifting and training and um, just being healthy in general. Uh, I remember when before I started training, I didn't really feel that great all the time. I would always feel weak. And then once I started training, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just went into the gym. I took some pre-workout and protein and lifted weights, but I still never ate. And then I learned about two years ago that you gotta eat to grow. So I started eating and I started growing and I started getting a decent physique. So basically what I wanna show you guys is what an average guy like me can turn into. I'm not impressive right now. I don't think so. I've got decent sized muscles, decent um, shape, but my physique isn't great. I don't think. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on a journey. We're going to see what kind of physique I can get through training, through the time, and uh, see what we can all do together. Um, you guys can I want to hear from other people, advice, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure everybody's going to tell me everything that I do is wrong, whatever. But, uh, you know, I, that's nothing new to me. I get told I'm doing shit wrong every day by my boss. Anyways, uh, so that's just a little introduction. Sorry for the ramble, kind of, but uh, we'll see you in the gym chest day. I'll do a couple clips here and there of what I'm doing. Uh, be, 
be pretty cool. We'll see. Uh, see you in the gym. Alright guys, sorry about the weird sound quality. I don't have a microphone on my computer, um, so I'm using kind of a ghetto setup. But So here's my workout. I did three sets of 15 bodyweight dips just to warm up my chest and my triceps for the workout. Um, it gets the blood flowing a little bit and it feels good. Um, I like the stretch and the squeeze that on it uh, just to warm up with and it's pretty light. Um, for my first exercise, I started off with flat bench uh, on the barbell, did 135, 185, and then I did four sets, three or four sets, of, yeah, four sets of 225, four to six reps each. This was my last set, so I did struggle with these last couple of reps. He, uh, he put his hands on the bar. I don't know how much he helped me, um, but as long as I got my reps, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm not strength training, so I'm not too worried about the weight. Um, probably may have even been able to go lighter. So my second exercise was incline barbell press. Um, I did two sets with the 70s after my warm-up set, one set with the 80s, and then dropped back down to the 70s because I didn't get my reps with the 80s. Um, I barely got my reps with the 70s after that for this set. Um, next, I did the hammer strength incline machine right here. Uh, I love this machine. I really feel the squeeze at the top of it. You can even see kind of the shelf of the my upper chest. This was I filmed all of my last sets, so it doesn't look like I get all my reps. And I don't know if I do for all of these. I was supposed to do like uh, eight to ten reps, and I think I only got like six and a half reps on this one. Um, then I went into regular cable flies, just standing straight up, and then and I didn't film that. And then I did these bent over guys and I love them. I really feel the stretch and really feel the squeeze. You can kind of see the striations in my chest so it's pretty cool. I love it. Um, and after this I did the uh, weighted, the hammer strength weighted dip machine but uh, I didn't get that either. Uh, my cameraman was kind of preoccupied with his workout as well which is understandable. So that was my chest workout. Uh, we'll see you in the next clip. Love me some MPS. All right, just got home from the gym. And so there's this cat that sits outside my window, meows, screams and cries all fucking night and all morning. And he's doing it. And every time I go out there to, to like wrangle him up, he runs away. Let's see if we can catch him on video. So I couldn't capture Mr. Cat. Every time I go out there, he runs away. He wasn't even there. He heard me coming and ran away before I could even get to it. But. On the way home from the gym, stopped at the evil corporation that everybody calls Walmart. I don't really think it's that evil. I don't care. It's got everything I need. So I'll show you guys what I picked up and why I'm going to show you. Um, basically, I'll just tell you why right now. I'm going to make crockpot chicken. It's like pulled barbecue chicken. Um, I'll show you all the ingredients, and then I'll show you what they all look like together, done when I eat it. Alright, for lunch, I got a Subway sandwich, the $6 deal. Um, it's chicken breast with chipotle sauce, spinach, onions, and jalapenos, and I'm going to eat both those cookies because YOLO, and just on sweet tea. Um, so that's zero calories, I'm not really worried about that. Um, but this is like 700 calories right here, which isn't a lot of food for a lot of calories. That's why I try not to do that too much. But uh, I still got a lot left for my dinner, which I'm super excited about. And you'll see that in just a moment. Two pounds chicken breast, quarter cup of brown sugar. Where is that? Some Worcestershire sauce. some spicy barbecue sauce and it's just the Italian mix them all together throw them in the crock pot pulled chicken that is delicious and easy okay so chicken in the crock pot 
I mixed up all the ingredients, so it was a cup of barbecue sauce, a quarter cup of the zesty Italian, quarter cup of brown sugar, I didn't quite use a quarter cup though, um, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, but I kind of just eyeballed it, just kind of dumped it in. And uh, before I dumped that in, I put some of this kicking chicken so, uh, seasoning on the chicken and then I dumped it in over it and just kind of stirred it all in and now it goes on high for about four hours and as soon as it's done the chicken should just kind of fall apart and be like pulled chicken and we'll throw it over some rice and I'll show you what that's like when I eat it see that. what's up guys back finally chicken's done I'm so excited to eat it it smells so good I'll show you what it looks like when I plate it. I'm going to cook up some rice and then get it all on the plate and then you can watch me eat it because and be jealous because it's going to be delicious. Here it is guys. Finally done. There's the barbecue chicken right there. Put a little bit of the extra barbecue sauce over some brown rice. It's one of those minute steamer cups. Super easy to make. Uh, very low fat. 53 grams of protein or, or uh, carbs or something like that like for protein I don't know and then some steamers these are red potatoes with green beans so this is a real good meal I'm real excited let's give it a try all right here's the first taste of the chicken it didn't quite pull like I wanted it to to be pulled chicken but like they're they were chicken fingers finger breasts or whatever so it's fine it kind of just comes out to be chicken fingers um so here we go bruh that's so good this is like probably the best thing that I made in my crock pot since I got it which was like I've only made like two things in it but this is so good this is probably the best chicken I've had it's better than my regular chicken that I usually make I'm definitely going to keep making this. The barbecue sauce is so good. And it cooked into the chicken really well. I only cooked it for four hours. Well, three and three hours for 45 minutes. But it's so good. Tastes good. It's got a little kick to it. A little, little sweetness from... Or not sweetness, but like zestiness from that Italian dressing and then the spicy uh, barbecue sauce blended with it perfectly so good and I put some of that sauce over the rice it's definitely a delicious meal um, this I forgot to look at the total um, macros for this meal but I'm almost there. I've uh, I've only got like two fat left, 50 grams of protein or uh, of carbs and like nine grams of protein or something, which is like exactly the serving of uh, serving of Greek yogurt. So I'll just have that again. I don't know. I had it for breakfast already, but I'll probably have that for dessert and uh, finish up there, and that will hit. All of my macros just about perfectly. I think I only went over in sodium, but I will every fucking time. By the way, I never ended up eating that second cookie from Subway because I was looking at it and uh, it was like going to be way over all of my stuff if I ate that with the dinner um, for fat wise. If you don't believe me, I've got the cookie back there. Uh, I don't need to show it to you, but I didn't. I only ate one of the cookies with a sandwich. So here's a meal. Uh, I'm going to crush this. Uh, probably have some Greek yogurt for dinner, uh, for dessert, and that's pretty much my night. I don't think I'm doing anything else, but that's the first vlog on from the for the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the page. Welcome to my life. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back again next time, and stay tuned for more updates, more reviews and uh, just a good time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the gym.